Biodiversity net gain is an approach to development that seeks to improve the natural environment, protecting habitats where possible. Since the 1970s, the UK has seen a 13% decline in the abundance of wildlife, which is amongst the worst 10% of countries globally. One of the new things that the government is bringing in is that planning permission for most developments will only be granted if it's deemed to demonstrate at least a 10% improvement to biodiversity net gain. Because this is a geospatial challenge, this is why we think Esri UK can help. Atkins Realis, we're passionate about environmental creation and enhancement through the BNG project as it's a big part of infrastructure design. We have a platform called Atkins Realis Spatial CDE where we use ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Portal, field maps, FME and Azure to create a custom platform for BNG analysis. Using our Atkins Realis, we've managed to save on average a year 300,000 in data management overheads, 160,000 in automated analysis, and a 1,000% BNG increase has been achieved on one of our projects. At Angular & Water, we own quite a lot of land. We own over 7,000 hectares across the region and biodiversity is really important to us in terms of protecting um, and enhancing our natural environment. It's very important for Angular & Water because uh, we need to ensure that our sites are uh, delivering environmental prosperity across the region. So it's very important for us to be able to utilise ArcGIS software and to work offline in order to do effective data management out in the field. Ecologists can use Suite for ArcGIS in order to collect the data, but then we push it back into Azure and then surface it in Power BI using ArcGIS web maps. This gives us a complete functionality across all different platforms to be able to actually surface that information in a timely manner. And it helps make sure that the data is fit for purposes and then we can bring that in-house and use it accordingly. In order to better effectively communicate with our partners, both internally and externally, we currently utilise Esri's platform of ArcGIS Online. This gives us a central hub in which we can then produce reports, we can collect data and we can effectively manage the end-to-end -end process of biodiversity much more smoothly. And we utilise Esri technology every day in terms of answering the fundamental question of where, how it affects our assets, how it affects our customers and how we can deliver environmental prosperity for all. at Hertfordshire County Council. We match up developers looking for potential BNG sites with landowners or land managers that have land that they're looking to use to deliver BNG. If we were matching without using an Esri tool, it would be significantly more difficult. When filling out the, the Survey123 form, landowners can provide fairly minimal information. They can say, I have a field, there's grass in it, it's this big, or they can provide a bit more information if they have it. They can say that a survey's been carried out and it's calcareous grassland. They can say how many BNG units they have. They can provide a lot more information, a much richer data set. So I think that BNG is a fantastic step forward in terms of delivering benefits to nature. We aim to deliver 20% enhancement of our biodiversity on our own land by 2030 and across the county by 2050. And the Esri products that we're using are really helping to make sure that we can deliver these targets. BNG is extremely important to us in delivering this biodiversity net gain. Where we generate new plant or new materials, we want to effectively ensure that that's offset and that we do more for the environment as a result. I am proud to work for a company such as Atkins Realis. We've taken BNG very seriously and are very focused on the sustainability of our environment and I'm looking forward to see where we can take that into the future. At Esri UK we understand that there will be many challenges ahead as biodiversity net gain is implemented but we're here to help at every step of the way.